Someone's asked a question, why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give such powers to the job to corrupt us? Because <coughs> shall I answer this question? Okay, I'm going to answer it. You may hate me and give me out. <laughs> We started to sell <coughs> particles of our religion to dunya. I'm one of them. We saw a lot, but we still consider ourselves as shiur, sit there with full respect. We are in a time when of our famous youth in Syria, I did not uh, sit with him because he passed away roughly 20 years before my birth. He used to say about his time, and for sure about that time, that we are in the time that the person is going to be in the morning believer and in the evening <coughs> non-believer. Why? Because he sold his religion for a cheap price of life. When we try to look about our priorities, for many of us, the religion come at the end. I don't look at where is the best place for me to practice my being. I look at the best place to earn money. When I have children, I should put them in very highly respected schools and colleges, you know, because they are there to just to secure their career, you know, because they want to work later on. But what's about Quran? What's about, and these are all things, you know. Inshallah, they will come. Inshallah, inshallah, they will come. Yeah, in our, in another word, in our practice, not all of us, but many of us, they are going to give the priority to their life, you know, in all of their aspects. Okay. And they make religion, yani, uh, inshallah, uh, when I return back from job, not during winter, during summer, I have a time to go and pray Isha in the mosque. You see, yani here it comes whenever uh, I'm free, I have free time, you know. As if I I was born here or present and present here for dunya, not to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, al al jinna wal ins illa We were not created for any purpose except to worship Allah. ما أريد منهم الرزق وما أريد أن يطعمون I'm not going to ask them, you know, to bring their provision or uh, something to feed me. Inna Allah wa And the worst among us, those who sell their religion for a cheap price of them. Sayyidina al-Hasan Basri said, it's better for me to gain or earn money from playing mu music than to earn money from my religion. And we observe, I'm not going to go <coughs> deeply in this matter, you know, but that has a lot of pain in my heart. We observe of famous you, famous high figures, you know, famous scholars, you know, that they give us, give a portion of all of their religion, you know, or give fake fatwa, or try to uh, go by the way, the superpowers they, they want us to go by nowadays, and to consider the whole world as a small village, and all, and all believers, you know, of different religions, they are the same and they are equal. You heard about something, I heard about other things, you know, we hear it every day, you know. This is at least for me, I may be wrong, it means my religion, not my religion. This 
so and so religion became too cheap for him. And it became a matter of showing the others that I am civilized, I get along well with them, you know. And this is, I cannot be sure about it, but this, this is very warning sign that he may lose his religion one day. And all of us, we are going to face a time, there's no doubt about it, that we are going to be squeezed completely, you mean, you know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to take the soul out of us. But I understand, I never tested this, you know, before. Inshallah <coughs> coming soon. But, but when you test this, you know, everything fake in your mind and in your heart is going to be gone away. What's going to be left? What you lived for all the time. Okay? Sayyidina Mu'az ibn Jabal was dying. <coughs> significant chest heaviness, heaviness, and not able to breathe. What did he remember in this moment? He said, Oh Allah, choke me as well, as much as you want. You know that I love you. This was his last one. In our time, see, I used to live in US. And we have an Egyptian person there, you know, who had a severe car accident. And he was taken urgently to the hospital. And the surgeon was one of our colleagues or friends. You see, this person, he bled a lot. And he was under anesthesia for surgery. And for the surprise of our friend surgeon or colleague surgeon, you see, and, and, uh, <coughs> how conscious is this person, you see, with massive bleeding and anesthesia. This person started to say, La ilaha illallah, and he passed away shortly. And in another word, we should, now we still have the time to clean our hearts, you know, of everything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this what is going to count for us, you know. For sure we are going to leave this, uh, leave this world, you know. And the, 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 the major disastrous matter about it, if something else equal, occupying my heart, and it has the superior last word, I'm going to be, I'm going to be shifted from this, this world as Catholic, not Muslim. That's why it's too serious. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of His mercy, started to show people who is lover of dunya and who is real lover of Him subhanahu wa ta'ala before this day's time.